Hey! Um, so today um, I'm going to talk about um, vasodilators and um, I'm going to talk about three um, vasodilators, sodium nitroprusside or nipride, uh, nitroglycerin, and hydralazine. So, um, you know, these are medications you use in the SICU and these are medications you use to bring someone's blood pressure down. Um, a lot of times um, you have patients who postoperatively need to maintain their blood pressures um, under, say, um, a systolic blood pressure of less than 125. Um, so first one is a sodium nitroprusside, and it does uh, vaso and venodilation. Um, so it, it dilates the veins and the arteries. Um, it does have cyanide toxicity, um, so you should watch out for that. Um, and uh, in that case, you might see uh, decreased saturation um, and uh, tachycardia. Um, so the ranges we usually use in the SICU is 0.3 to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The next one is nitroglycerin. Uh, nitroglycerin glycerin is a venodilator, so it dilates the veins. And the um, usual dose is 0 to 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. And then finally, um, uh, there's hydralazine. Um, in hydralazine, you, a lot of times we use on the floor to control blood pressure medications. Um, usually, you write for a whole parameter, so hydralazine. Um, uh, 10 to 20 milligrams uh, uh, every 4 to 6 hours um, uh, and hold for a heart rate greater than 110. Now in the CQ you can usually write to give hydralazine a little bit more frequently so you can write hydralazine 10 to 20 milligrams every 1 to 2 hours um, IV um, as needed for um, systolic blood pressure greater than 160 or, or 170 um, and the mechanism of hydralazine is it's an alpha blocker and it directly release, relaxes smooth muscles. Um, so that is pretty much it uh, for today. Um, again, I covered um, uh, nitroprusside, um, hydralazine, and uh, nitroglycerin. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Bye.